Hello guys, this is your boy Ali Solanki and today we'll be talking about why am I pursuing MBA and why it's worth it. To give you a background of why this question is even relevant, especially for me, I'm currently in the third year of engineering pursuing my B.Tech degree. The general roadmap for a B.Tech student is to either go with a job after four years or go with higher studies specifically for M.Tech. So for me, instead of pursuing my M.Tech, I'm studying for an MBA. Growing up, I've always been fascinated with technology as well as business and finance. So it was pretty clear for me to pursue my MBA right after BTEC. For now, I'm specifically focusing on CAT, which is obviously the most popular MBA entrance test in India, but I will also be studying for GMAT, NMAT and other MBA tests as well. In the next video, I'll talk about all of these entrance tests in detail, so stay tuned for that. In this video, I'll tell you five of the main reasons why I'm pursuing an MBA and why you should too. First is network and connections. The first and foremost reason for me to pursue MBA is the network and connections that it brings with it. If you get admitted to any of the top business schools, you suddenly get surrounded with people who are ambitious, who have already achieved a lot in their lives and being in such a circle gives you the motivation to push forward. In no time, you start competing with these high IQ individuals and try to win as well. Basically, you get filled with motivation and start asking yourself questions like, if that person can do it, why can't I? And the tools to achieve them are also provided to you. All you gotta do is to make connections with the right people, network with them and find new opportunities and new doors will open up for you automatically. But this all comes when you get into a good MBA college. So if you're trying to pursue an MBA, try to do it only through the best business schools in the country. Because once you get the admission, you will have access to some of the best faculties, infrastructure and of course the crowd and the students studying there. Now you can network and build connections with people even without getting into a business school but the special bond that gets created when those people are actually your batch mates is something entirely different. These people will actually stay with you throughout your life. This is the same thing that would have happened with you in your school, college or even while pursuing your bachelor's. The people you form connections with during these one or two years will stay with you forever because they were from the same batch as yours. And remember, this wonderful network will be really useful to you in your career ahead as these people are some of the smartest minds of the country. Other than students from the same batch, you will also get access to the entire alumni network. Basically, all the students who have studied from the same business school as yours. And this is a very powerful networking tool to have because if it's a good business school, then the students will be getting into some of the biggest companies. And these same people will actually bring out the best opportunities for you in the years to come. Second is expanding career options. Especially if you're doing a general MBA course, then you expand your career options a lot. You can get into marketing, advertising and even finance. Plus your job responsibility as well as the benefits you get from it increase as well. This is also really useful for people wanting to change their careers altogether. Say for example, if you're a software developer currently and want to get into the product management field or if you want to go from marketing into finance then doing an MBA will really help you in that. This is because your bachelor's degree even if it was in computer science will show your specialization. Maybe if you've also worked in that field maybe as a software developer for a couple of years then your experience will also be counted for that. Now if you wish to change your career it would be really difficult for the recruiter to hire you but now in the same scenario if you have an MBA degree the recruiter knows that you've spent one to two years preparing for that role already. That's why MBA is a great way that can help you change your career or your industry entirely. 
Third is better opportunities. Now, unfortunately, you need an MBA in order to get good opportunities in the first place. This is because recruiters will try to select only those candidates who are having an MBA degree from a reputed college. I know an MBA isn't the only thing that determines if you're capable for the role or not. But unfortunately, that is what the current state is. And an MBA is a must if you want to get better opportunities. Fourth is job security. And this job security security increases tenfold. In any top firms or companies, you will see that there are different roles and levels assigned to each individual. It starts with the executive, then comes junior management, and then middle management, and then senior management. So in the case of college graduates, they join in at executive level, that is the lowest of the levels. But now if you have an MBA degree with you, you can join in one level higher, that is as a junior management instead. Now, how does this translate to job security then? You might have seen in the pandemic itself, most of the people that were fired were from the entry level jobs. However, when you join in at a higher level, it becomes much more difficult to fire you and rehire another candidate for your position. That's why doing an MBA will not only push you up the ladder, but also increase your job security as well. Fifth is to learn business, of course. For learning business, you don't need an MBA particularly, but if you're coming from a family that isn't associated with business in any way, then doing an MBA will teach you how to think from a business perspective. You will learn to think and behave in situations that you might face later down your career. And that is why an MBA is really, really important. So those were my picks for the five reasons why I think an MBA is really useful and why I am pursuing an MBA. So if you have any doubts, if you have any queries, uh, do write them in the comment section below and subscribe to this channel by pressing the bell icon for more such updates. This is Ali Solanki signing off.